Hey, yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Voice Overs Podcast. I'm King around the Glow Mind here with 24K Logan. And today we are doing a one gotta go. Martin vs. Fresh Prince. Now, this is a very tough choice because these are two shows that the both of us grew up on. A lot of y'all grew up on those 90s shows. 90s kids, 2000s kids, etc. Exactly. And I don't want to make it all about race, but I feel that you can make an argument for both of those being the greatest shows and I don't want to say black television, but for any anybody that grew up in the culture or anybody that grew up watching those shows, you know what I'm referring to when I say greatest black TV show of all time. Oh yeah, with certain reference, especially more like Fresh Prince. But um, I feel like those are two greatest sitcoms if you really want to get technical with it. Out of all shows, at all sitcoms, like oh sitcoms, that genre, you can make an argument, yeah, for sure. And you could argue that they're the best shows ever. Not not the best show ever, but like it, it can be on the list. But see, you know what? I wouldn't be mad at nobody if they said that's the greatest. Because when you say greatest show ever, that's and that's the topic that we'll talk about one day. But when you say greatest show of all time, it's subjective and it's based on what people grew up on or what impacted them the most. Yeah. And also like because everyone's like always mentioned this and it's it's still tough to think about because I've watched more Martin. We actually have like all the CDs, mm-hmm. but also Fresh Prince. I've I watched a lot of Fresh Prince as well. So, you know, oh, and then it's also like what challenged the audience when you watch certain shows, you want to be challenged sometimes. Yeah. So that's another. But of course, Martin and Fresh Prince, not that type of show, but yeah, yeah, they yeah. did have their serious moments. Yeah, they did. That. All right. So, oh, this gonna be tough. So, today. just right off the bat, one gotta go. What are you taking out? Ultimately, I would probably go with Fresh Prince. Okay. But if we we really got going into detail later in this video, I will explain that. But what's your first answer? Okay. So this is actually tough because, like you, I've watched more Martin than I've watched Fresh Prince. However, Fresh Prince, I believe, had the better acting. And Fresh Prince taught more life lessons than Martin did. Yeah. Martin had his serious moments, but... There were moments of Martin that were like overboard when him, Gina, Pam, and Tommy went on vacation and they had that koala bear. Oh, that was, that was that was funny. I mean, I mean it, yeah, it was that, over that, the top. Bro, like it looked super. Obviously, it was. It fake, was. It was the nineties and the budget the, was. Well, yeah, that too. But like they literally had a stuffed animal with a noise in the background it, yeah. it was so overboard that's one of the worst moments in that show one of the most memorable it was kind of funny though way how she was fighting and they teamed up and yeah, yeah one of the most memorable moments of the show but one of the dumbest too yeah you don't really have a moment like that with fresh prince and everybody remembers the scene between will and his dad yeah pretty and iconic and the, scene the how come he don't want me man martin i don't want to say martin doesn't have a moment like that but for that reason, oh man, I'm gonna have to say Martin gotta go. All right, so it's a one side and one side. No, I don't know because it's kind of okay, back okay, and forth, okay. come back and forth. Bro. Scott thought about this before we made a video. I should have brought this up to you. We'll do a. We can't do pros and cons. Well, let's start with the pros, like characters, characters, characters. Okay, so we'll start with Martin characters. Okay, who's your favorite character from Martin? I gotta say Tommy. I don't want to be generic and say uh, Martin. I mean, he main character. Everybody loves the main character. You can't go wrong with that. So, if you want to say Martin, it's good. But besides, if, if I had a favorite character outside of Martin, it would actually be Cole. Cole, okay. Now, for Fresh Prince, if I had a favorite character outside of Will, which I actually, I kind of do, Uncle Phil. Yeah, Uncle Phil. And yeah, Uncle he Phil, really I think, is the greatest TV dad ever. Yeah, but you can also throw James from Good Times in that conversation, Carl from Family Matters. If mm-hmm. I'm, I know I'm leaving out some other great TV dads, but well, this I, is really sitcoms. Uncle Phil you're talking is about, like, yeah. I feel he's very superior to. I don't want to say superior, but he's he's up here compared to a lot of TV dads, especially for comedy shows. Yeah, but but if you're really getting technical, like other genres, I mean, uh, I would I would have said Sopranos, but his kids were spoiled. Very. Yeah. 
um, Walking Dead, Rick was a good father. He everything he did, he did for his children. He, yeah. you know, it, it was a lot. But I, I don't want us to get off topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not get off topic. But, so um, with what what were you gonna say uh, regarding the characters from Fresh Prince? Yeah, like like I'm saying, we can name a lot of characters. I, I like. Okay, I'll say my favorite Fresh Prince character, and then we'll go back to Martin and name a lot of iconic characters. But um, with Fresh Prince, who's my favorite character? Jazzy was pretty nice, you know, when he got thrown out of the house oh, with Uncle Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those moments was raw, you know, so I like Jazzy as a character. Um, Carlton, funny, you know. Carlton, his best moment for me, oh, I wish I remembered the episode. It was the guy from, it was the guy that played, what was his name? From Menace to Society. Okay. The guy that played Pernell. Pernell. Glenn Plummer, that's his name. Glenn Who's Plummer from Minnesota. From Minnesota Society. Yeah, no, Minnesota Society. I'm trying to think. What, what, Are you serious? Well, wait, if you just tell me, what did he do? Oh, he was the one who got arrested. He 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 was the jail scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's Kane right went to visit. Yeah, the guy yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It, it's been it's been years since I have seen Minnesota. But um, damn. But yeah, say? I think that was for me Carlton's best moment. Oh, Carlton's best moment. You okay. go. All right. I, I know what you're going What do you say. think I'm going to say? What do you think I'm going to say? Mommy. No. That one? No, no. It was when he was off a of perk at that, um, that, at the prom. <laughs> <laughs> but that man was like, bro, that was oh, funny. Man, yeah. And it was dancing. Bro, he, he was, he was, was so off. fast. But I think his best moment was when him and the guy that played Pernell from Minister Society were at a it was like a college party or something and the guy was saying that carlton wasn't black enough for calling him a sellout and carlton confronted him on it and was saying he i'm paraphrasing a little bit because it's been so long since i watched the episode but he was saying you're saying i'm not black enough but you're downing another black man i think that was one of carlton's best moment and when him and will were arguing when Will was in the hospital and Will was saying, I saved your life and Carlton wanted revenge. And again, it goes back to moments like that. The more serious tone at we first. We don't friends. get a lot of that in Martin. We get more, we oh. see more relationship drama in Martin. It was, yeah, the most Gina serious was, yeah. yeah, the most serious moments was really relationship wise. Mm -hmm. When they split up, they were uh, trying to get married. Yeah. It, it Yeah, he had those moments. But with Martin, I want to go back to like characters because we had, oh, Oh yeah, he'll be my favorite character. Um, brother man, fifth, bro, upstairs man. fifth flow, fifth fifth flow guys, yeah. fifth flow. Bro, yeah, his just just his like intro because it was um that boxing episode. That's when he first came in. This man got his feet on the couch. He eating his food, stuff like Chilling, that. Chilling, letting the bunion breathe. Yeah, I'm like, dang. And then you breaking oh, this man's man. house Thanksgiving or whenever, just eating his food. I'm like, ain't y'all supposed to be at work? I'm yeah. Like, like, what is this man doing? Yeah, the man just walking like nah, he did, he did it so casual, bro. Yeah, it's like was this man high or what? <laughs> and then of course we can't forget Rome and Rome in oh, the yeah, house. It's Rome. Yeah. And um, looky looky. Yeah. Oh, um Hustle Man. He was uh, Morgan uh what's yeah. his name? Uh, Morgan Freeman. No, no, oh, Morgan. Tracy Morgan. No, no, no. Tracy Morgan. Okay, yeah, Tracy Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, Tracy Morgan. Okay, yeah, Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Yeah. My bad, my bad, bro. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> well yeah, um a lot Hustle of characters. Yeah. yeah, Hustle Man. He was funny in that episode when that power had went out. Mm -hmm. um, who else can we name? I don't know. A lot of the characters who Martin plays, like who he dressed up as, you know, that that was pretty cool. And that's that is one argument that you can use with Martin is how he played so many different characters. Yeah, something that Will didn't do. In well, obviously, Fresh Prince was in some capacity a different type of show because with Martin you got. A young guy, young adult, radio DJ, living with his girl, going through life. In Detroit. First, yeah. Try versus make Fresh way. Prince. You got a kid that's from Philly, 17 years old. Who yeah, he got into a fight and yeah, then he moved. To, to uh, Bel Air with his rich aunt and uncle. And he goes through life as a teenager into a young adult. Different show. Um, but like I said, we see Martin play Shanene, Jerome, um, who else did he play? Mama Payne, Roscoe, Snotty Nose. Oh, yeah. oh man. And I know I'm leaving uh 
Dragonfly Jones. Yeah. Silence. Silence. Yeah. So, oh, oh, the, that security guard, o Otis. Oh, man. Say that one more time for me, Bob. Yeah. yeah. Favorite Martin episode. I know my favorite one. I know my favorite Martin episode. What's your favorite Martin episode? Oh, you know what? I think my personal favorite, it would be... One of them for sure would be when him and Gina worked things out and he had finally proposed to her. But another episode that I had liked a lot was the boxing episode. Oh my god! That, that will oh man. The only thing that creeped me out at the end. It was how his head looked. Oh like, man! I'm not even gonna show that photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna show it. For those of you, look it up Martin, if you, you want. We're talking about. Look it up if you want it. God. My favorite episode. He's also one of your favorite rappers, but the Notorious B.I.G. episode. Oh, was, how did I leave that one out? It, that's yes. what got me on to Martin, actually. Rest in peace like, to the cool. legend. Oh, rest in peace. But, like, you know, he came in, and it, it was cool, you know, because Martin just wanted him to kick it with him, whatever. But everybody heard that Biggie was in his apartment. And then, yep. and I feel that's how a lot of celebrities got to go through. Like, mm -hmm. people know where you are. People showing up, trying to meet you. And you can only help but feel bad for them, you know. The Kid and Play episode was pretty funny. Oh, yeah, because that was when... Was it Kid and Play 2 or was it 3 that was releasing around that time? Around that time... Was it 2 or 3? Oh, I, I, talking about House Party. Yeah, yeah House Party. Um, House Party 2, I believe, I was say, already out. I gotta that look point. that fact up. Man. Well, it wasn't a Kid and Play episode. It was a Kid episode. Yeah, yeah, it was Kid. Yeah, but of course, everybody knows... He's from Kid and Play. Yeah, and they reference Play, but yeah. Exactly. Yeah, uh, let's Fresh Prince. Let's get on that one. So, favorite episode of Fresh Prince would probably be when they... Well, because this actually... I don't, I don't, do I want to say it set a standard? It didn't set a standard, but again, it challenged comedy shows. The episode where Will and Carlton got arrested. This was in season, season one. one. I was yes. thinking about the episode actually. That's one of my favorite episodes because they touch on a very delicate subject that we didn't see too many comedy shows touch on. And yeah, that's what I like about Fresh Prince. Like they, they brought that into the sitcoms. Like you want to get a laugh in, but you also want to get a snap to reality in a way. Yeah. Exactly. And then um, even the episode where Carlton lost his virginity, that oh that, my God. <laughs> that was a funny moment. It was funny. I man. was cheering for him. I'm like, yeah, Carlton. No, it was funny that one time uh, Carlton had told Will he was a virgin. And his reaction, Will's reaction, he's like, I ain't no virgin. He said something like that. Yeah, that, 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 that was funny. Yeah. For me, probably the, the pilot episode was good. The first episode? Yeah, the first episode. I know it's a little thing, but even The Walking Dead, my favorite episode was Days Going By. Cause just that whole introduction, you know. But um, the introduction to all the characters, the house. And it was crazy because, like, originally, I can't remember if it was actually filming in that real house, but they they adapted to, like, a more realistic set. Because if you've seen the first episode, the walls were a little, like, wobbly. And then later on, they had more sturdier environment. So, yeah, that's what I liked about it. Evolution. But the last thing that I wanted to say regarding Martin vs. Fresh Prince, I wouldn't be mad at anybody saying they choose Martin over Fresh Prince because it's kind of a back and forth thing for me. But yeah, it's like I, a, I think it's hard to say one has to go between these two because they're so important to black culture and just TV culture in general. But I will say Martin is targeted more towards young inner city urban kids or young adults yeah they understand ebonics more oh my god it's not that one ebonics yeah man, i ain't hear that word in so long <laughs> yeah well e ebonics was a big deal right. in that time ebonics. yeah but i know i, 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 I know. understand what you're but saying. but also like fresh prince it was Cause like you think about J Cole in the world models, like he was like you the only father I ever knew. Exactly. I feel like a lot of kids who didn't come up with that's, someone that's like what Uncle I was Phil. Gonna say Martin is geared towards more of a young black audience that's just you know like I said inner city urban coming up through life. Fresh Prince is more trying to make a make a or show a standard, make a statement, and Uncle Phil raised a lot of kids yeah. believe it or not that's i think that's the best way to describe the difference between martin versus fresh prince yeah rest in peace to james avery hell of an actor yeah and my favorite tv dad yeah oh 
um, since, cause like, I don't know if many people pointed it out, but like, um, we got bad boys from these two actors. We had one of the greatest shows from the nineties, two of the greatest shows from the nineties. And then we got one of the greatest action movies ever. Yep. You can, you can, you, you know, you, you got bad boys one, two, and three. the greatest three. buddy cop film ever. Yeah. And, and the thing about three bad boy films is it doesn't matter which one you say is the best. Cause like, I wouldn't disagree with you. For me personally, bad boys two, so many iconic scenes from that movie. I think Bad Boys 2 has probably the best action, but the best film. Bad Boys has the most memorable one-liners and the more iconic moments. Yeah. Bad Boys 3 has the best script and the best, I guess you could say the best acting. Roughly, yeah. I mean, you can argue that they waited too long to make the movie, but it, it, it worked. It worked. And they brought a lot of characters back. It worked. Exactly. But... Another thing about Bad Boys, the first one came out in 1995, and it came out at the height of Martin and Fresh Prince because at that point, Martin had been on air for, I think, three or four years. Fresh Prince had been on air for about five years. So you got two young guys who are a part of what ended up being, like you said, the two greatest shows of the 90s. I don't think that's a rough statement to make. Yeah, because this was before TV had really took exactly. off the shows. Two of the greatest shows of the 90s, especially for sitcoms, comedy, whatever. And they're able to come together and they did a film that turned out to be one of the greatest action comedy buddy cop films of all time. Yeah, because action comedy is a big thing, but a lot of people hear action comedy, they think like 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 cheesy action, but with this action comedy, it's like it's like gory action, but also like funny because you got Mark Lawrence as a comedian, Will Smith, you know, like so many funny moments with it. Do you think this is my last name? Do you think Fresh Prince is more diversified? Diverse, as in like like it goes more into a a diverse audience. Like, not just black people. Not that Martin purposely targeted just black people, but it goes back to what I said with the Ebonics. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, I don't want... I, look, we... Uh, okay. With with all that and how the show was, that... I think... I think Fresh Prince has a more diverse audience. You can't say the word Ebonics around me. So we're going to take this box and we <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, hear that word on this channel. I, I, don't, I don't like the word either, but I, I have like, to bring it up. I still don't even know what it means. I don't know what it means, so I, I don't know. But, I mean, in diversity, I mean, I've heard a lot of people who, who aren't even black, and they, they love Martin and Fresh Friends. Believe I've heard that. that. Yeah, so you can you can argue who the, who the audience is for, but at the end of the day, it's for everybody, you know, because everybody exactly. goes through. Um, certain things that Fresh Prince and Martin talked about, you know, whether if it's um, a single parent household or you happen to go somewhere else, a lot of people go through that. And a lot of people watch this show and it made them feel better about life and, you know, exactly. stuff like that. I think about. But yeah, man, before we end this video, those are two of the greatest shows in the history of the 90s. Like, I'm glad you said that because I don't I don't think that's a hot take. Yeah. I mean, of course, you got great 90s shows like Living Single. And Sopranos uh, aired in 99. I don't, I don't consider that a 90s yeah, show. Like it, I mean, if it started in 99, at least for that year. In technicality, it is, but... Oh. I wouldn't consider that a 90s there show. There was a show called um, The Oz on, uh, that started on HBO. Mm -hmm. So, with that show, you can... I, I haven't watched it, but I hear when I heard about it, though, like... How to explain this? It's the reason why we got a lot of uh, TV and May rating shows today, or okay. you know, so I, I got to check out the odds. It's on, it's on Max now, so you know, it started in like '94 and sometime in the '90s. So, you know, I, I respect it as a show because if it wasn't for that, this, you know, for sure, man. But hey, that's going to conclude the video. More content on the way, y'all. Stay tuned. We love y'all. Peace and love to everybody. Like and subscribe.